Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is simultaneous linear differential equations and applications. Simultaneous linear differential equation. This is this topic is from unit one linear differential equations with constant coefficients. Simultaneous differential equations means simultaneously you solve the system of linear differential equations like the system of linear equations. We solve the system of linear equations like that. You solve the system of linear differential equations. The differential equation in which there is one independent variable and two or more dependent variables. For example, dx by dt plus y is equal to t. And second uh, differential equation, dy by dt minus x is equal to e raised to t. In this example, x and y are two dependent variables and t is independent variable. So in RHS, there is function of t because t is independent and x and y are dependent variables here. So here t is independent variable and x and y are dependent variables. Such a type of equations or system of equation, system of differential equations are known as simultaneous differential equations. Now we want a solution for the system of linear differential equations. Now how, how to solve? See the example. Solve du by dx plus v is equal to sine x and dv by dx plus u is equal to cos x. These two different linear differential equations are given. We solve simultaneously given that when x is equal to zero, u is one, v is zero. These initial conditions are given. Using initial conditions, we can remove the arbitrary constants. After finding the solution, general solution for this uh, simultaneous differential equations, we will think uh, or we will discuss about these initial conditions. Now, how to solve this, uh, these simultaneous differential equations? You put here d by dx is equal to d, so that your equation 1 reduces to du because d by dx is d, capital D. So du plus v is equal to sin x. And second equation, d by dx is again capital D. So this d by dx is d into v. dv plus u is equal to cos x. So that equation reduces to like this. Now, you remove either variable. Here in this simultaneous differential equations, u and v are dependent variables they depend on the variable x x is independent that's why in rhs there is function of x for both the differential equations sin x cos x because x is independent u and v are dependent variables here so uh, now this is the uh, reduced form of that both the equations now you remove either u or v and uh, you will get the equation in terms of u and x or v or v and x either remove u or either remove v now we are going to replace here v now to remove v you multiply first equation by d and second equation by one so that that equation reduces to first equation multiply by d d into d d square u plus d into v is equal to d sine x this equation second equation multiply by one so it will be as it is u plus dv is equal to cos x now uh, we are going to remove this v here so subtract these two equations give minus sign so uh, give negative sign to every second term so d square u minus u dv minus dv get cancel is equal to d of sin x you know d means d by dx derivative of sin x derivative of sin x is cos x cos x minus cos x zero so rhs term is also zero now u is common so the term the equation is d square minus one into u is equal to zero this is the lde this is nothing but lde after uh, solving the simultaneous differential equation, we reduce it to LDE. This is in the form of phi of D into U is equal to 
f of x f of x is here zero your function is zero function is zero then in that case no need to find its pi because pi depends on the f function f of x if f of x is zero function is zero then its pi is obviously zero so state here auxiliary equation auxiliary equation is here d square minus 1 is equal to 0 and the factors for d square minus 1 is equal to 0 is they are 1 and minus 1 so complementary function is here c1 e raise to x plus c2 e raise to minus x now this is complementary function and pi its pi is 0 because function is 0 so its general solution contains only complementary function u is equal to where we have the value of u because this equation is in terms of u and x d square minus 1 into u is equal to 0 so the value of u u is here complementary function only c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus x now this is the value of u now you find out the value of v how to find v you just differentiate this u with respect to x, you will get the derivative du by dx. Why we are differentiating? Because we want the value of u. We are solving the system of uh, simultaneous differential equations. Means our aim is to find the values of dependent variables. Here, dependent variables are u and v. So our aim is to find the values of u and v. And the values of u and v will be in terms of x because x is independent variable here. Now we, are, uh, we have the value of u and we are differentiating u with respect to x because if we have the value of du by dx, then after putting in equation one, the value of du by dx, you shift this term of du by dx in RHS so that you will get the value of v. That's why we are finding du by dx. So the value of du by dx is here. du by dx is after finding u, you differentiate u with respect to x. So this c1 e raised to x derivative is e raised to x c2 as it is e raised to minus x derivative is e raised to minus x into minus 1. That's why minus sign is here. Now put the value of this derivative in equation 1. So you will get c1 e raised to x minus c2 e raised to minus x plus v is equal to sin x. And so v is equal to we shift remaining terms in RHS. So it is sin x minus c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus x. Okay. Now these are the values of u and v now uh, the special uh, or initial conditions are given that when x is equal to 0 u is equal to c the conditions are given here when x is equal to 0 u is 1 and v is 0 so put x is equal to 0 in equation number 3 when x is 0 e raised to 0 is 1 e raised to 0 is 1 so c1 plus c2 so x is equal to uh, 0, u is equal to u is equal to 1 and v is equal to 0. So u is equal to c1 plus c2 when x is equal to 0 and the value of u is also 1. So in x minus c. This, this u is equal to c1 plus c2 is nothing but 1 is equal to c1 plus c2 because u, the value of u is also 1 when x is 0. It is given. And in uh, for v, when x is 0, v is also 0. When x is 0, sin 0, 0 minus c1 e raised to 0 is 1, e c2 e raised to 0 is 1. So it is minus c1 plus c2. Equation number 4. In equation 4, you put x is equal to 0. So this term is nothing but minus c1 plus c2 is equal to what is v when x is 0 v is also 0 so this term is minus c1 plus c2 is equal to 0 so we have these two linear equations when you solve these linear equations solve means you just add these two equations if we add these two equations where 2 c2 is equal to 1 means c1 uh, is equal to 1 by 2 and c2 is equal to 1 by 2 so, so after getting the values of c1 and c2, you put in equation 3 and 4 the values of c1 and c2. So we have e is, u is equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2 and v is equal to sin x minus e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2. These special conditions are given so uh, we can remove the arbitrary constants c1 and c2. These special conditions are given in this particular example. If not given, you just find the values of dependent variables you stop there that is your aim only here the special condition is given that when x is equal to 0 u is 1 and v is 0 
that's why we are doing all these steps uh, after finding u and v we are uh, removing the arbitrary constants c1 and c2 from the equations because special conditions are given if these special conditions are given then and then you do the remaining steps after finding u and v okay this is one example try to solve this second example solve dx by dt plus y is equal to e raised to t second uh, equation minus dy by dt plus x is equal to e raised to minus t in this equation x and y are dependent variables and t is the independent variable so your aim while solving this simultaneous differential equations is you find the values of x and y in terms of t like the first example in first example u and v were the dependent variables and uh, x uh, was the independent variable so we have the values of u and v in terms of x there so like that you solve this second simultaneous differential equation try yourself now next topic is symmetrical form of simultaneous differential equations now what is symmet sorry what is symmetrical form of simultaneous differential equation the general form of symmetrical simultaneous differential equation symmetrical form is dx upon p is equal to dy upon q is equal to dz upon r this is the form then it is called symmetrical form where p q r are functions of x y z and said to be are said to be symmetrical simultaneous differential equations the solution of such a system of equations is given by a pair of relations u of x y z is equal to c1 and u of x y z is equal to c2 which are independent of each other means uh, when you are when we solve symmetrical simultaneous differential equations then we have two sets of solutions u of x y z is equal to c1 and v of x y z is equal to c2 which are uh, independent to each other remember it now there are two methods to solve the symmetrical simultaneous differential equations first method is method of combinations or grouping now in this method we select two groups such that the third variable gets eliminated that is we get the variable separable form then integration of this gives one part of the solution similarly find second find second solution which is independent of first solution understood in this method we select two groups such that the third variable gets eliminated and that is we get the variable separable form after variable separable form you can integrate it you know that you see the example in the first example solve dx by dy sorry dx upon xy is equal to dy upon x square is equal to dz upon xyz this this example is given so it is clear that we can easily identify that it is symmetrical simultaneous differential equation because uh, it is in that form dx upon p is equal to dy upon q is equal to dz upon r where p q r are the functions of x y z so you consider either uh, first two ratios or second two ratios so that we can separate we have to choose the two ratios such that the third variable gets eliminated suppose here first two, we choose first two ratios dx upon xy is equal to dy upon x square the, so in this two ratios is uh, x get eliminated uh, x x get cancelled so the simplified form is dx upon y is equal to dy upon x here the uh, x square term is there so one x get uh, get cancelled so the remaining one x is here so the term is dy upon x now you just do the cross multiplication you do the cross multiplication it is x dx is equal to y dy now this is variable separable form because the terms of x are collected in lhs and the terms of y are collected in rhs now variable separable form so integrating we get integration x dx is equal to integration y dy plus c plus c constant of integration now integration of x is x square by 2 is equal to integration of y is y square by 2 plus c and so it is x square by 2 minus y square by 2 is equal to c so uh, if we multiply every term by 2 then the term will be x square minus y square is equal to 2c 2c is new again a new constant called c1 so the uh, solution is x square minus y square is equal to c1 this is one set of solution that we have mentioned we have to find out two sets of solutions that for one of them is x square minus y square is equal to c1 
now how to find a second set of solution you uh, consider the uh, second ratio second and third ratio or um, first and third ratio you choose so that we can easily uh, eliminate the third variable now if here if we choose first and third ratio dx upon xy is equal to dz upon xyz then easily we can remove x uh, we can uh, cut the variable x and y here so that we have the terms dx is equal to dz upon z so here uh, the variable separable form is here that all the terms of x are in lhs and all the terms of y are sorry all the terms of z are in rhs so it is a variable separable form so integrating integration dx is equal to integration dz upon z plus c so integration of dx is x is equal to integration of 1 by z is log of z plus c and so the solution is x minus log of z is equal to c2 so this is the second set of solution so first set of solution is here x square minus y square is equal to c1 which is independent to this second set of solution x minus log z is equal to c2 okay so this is one example now second example solve dx by 2x is equal to dy upon minus y is equal to dz upon 4xy square minus z now here you consider first two ratios dx upon 2x is equal to dy upon minus y so uh, variable separable form you just integrate it no need to simplify it is already a variable separable form because all the terms of x are in lhs and all the terms of y are in rhs so integrating we get 1 by 2 constant integration of 1 by x is log of x is equal to uh, integration of 1 by y is log of y because of minus sign we can shift the term in our lhs so that plus log of y is equal to log of c1 constant of integration is log of c1 here because in lhs both the terms are log functions so you consider the constant of integration so log of c1 so it is 1 by 2 log of x so if we shift this uh, 1 by 2 as a power of x then you will get root x log of root x plus log of y log a plus log b is log of a into b so log of root x into y is equal to log of c1 log functions are equal so the uh, term values are equal so y into root x is equal to c1 if we square squaring we have xy square is equal to c1 square uh, x xy square is equal to c or c1 c1 dash you will get again a new constant c1 square is again a new constant c2 sorry c1 dash or something so after squaring you just uh, suppose this is c1 dash then you will get new constant c1 here suppose the previous one is c1 dash so you will get here c1 c1 here if it is c1 previous one then you you uh, new name to the new constant c1 dash here okay so x y square because it is arbitrary constant so you can uh, write any uh, letter here but uh, it is a constant term you remember it so x y square is c1 so also uh, now uh, this is one set of solution x y square is equal to c1 now we want the second set of solution so for second set you consider the first and third term so first ratio is dx upon 2x is equal to third ratio is dz upon 4x y square minus z now in uh, second ratio the third ratio dz upon 4x y square minus z we cannot separate the terms because in denominator there is a subtraction and that we don't want that variable y there because first ratio is of x and second ratio is here of z so we have want to eliminate here the variable y but we cannot eliminate it easily so better way there is uh, the first set solution is x y square is equal to c1 so you replace this x y square by c1 you replace it by c1 x y square by c1 then your uh, term will be dx upon 2x is equal to dz upon 4 c1 minus z 4 c1 minus z now here variables are separated all the terms of x are in lhs and all the terms of y z are in rhs so variable separable form so you just integrate it integrating that 1 by 2 constant what is the integration of 1 by x it is log of x is equal to 
RH term, you just integrate. Integration of 1 upon 4 C1 minus Z is log of 4 C1 minus Z upon minus 1 because the variable is Z and the coefficient of Z is minus 1. So write in denominator minus 1 plus all the terms are in log function. So you consider, consider the arbitrary constant log of C1, sorry, log of C2. So 1 by 2 log X is equal to minus log of 4 C1 minus Z plus log of C2. So it is log of root x. 1 by 2, you write as a power of x. So x raised to 1 by 2 means root x. Log of root x plus log of 4 C1 minus Z it means log of a plus log of b is log of a into b. So log of root x into 4 C1 minus Z is equal to log of C2. So log functions are equal, so values are equal. So 4 C1 minus Z into root x is equal to C2. And so root x into 4, you replace the value of C1 here in second set of solution, it is xy square. So root x into 4 xy square minus z is equal to C2. So this is the second set of solution. And so this is your answer. So we have two sets of solution. This one is first and so this is second set of solution and first set of solution is here. xy square is equal to C1. And so here, that first method, grouping method of sim symmetrical simultaneous, differentially simultaneous, symmetrical simultaneous differential equation is over. These are two examples. So uh, you take it as a homework. You try to solve these two examples. And here, that first uh, method of symmetrical simultaneous differential equation is over. Thank you.